Today on Stray FM's Business Hub, we are talking about something that every single workplace in the UK, if not the entire world, has to take into consideration. We are talking about health and safety. And from Craven Safety Services, I have two people in the studio who are going to help us run through. We're going to head very shortly into our virtual workplace. But first of all, would each of you like to introduce yourselves and tell us what you do for Craven Safety Services? Hi, I'm Liz Preston. I'm the Managing Director of Craven Safety Services. Hi, I'm Ian Williamson. I'm a Health and Safety Advisor for Craven Safety Services. Now, just before before we came on, um, those you were particularly saying that health and safety sometimes is, is hard to make sexy, but it is important, isn't it? Why is it something that we need to make sure that we're on top of it in workplaces? It's very important. Obviously, everybody's got a duty of care to look after all their employees, visitors and each other, really. I suppose you don't want all your, all your workforce to be off with injuries. That's not going to do the business any good at all, is it? No, it's something that would certainly hit your production and your your productivity generally, but also it's the sort of thing that can harm morale as well. If people are being injured and hurt at work, then, you know, people might not want to work for you. And what sort of companies do you tend to work with most? We can work with any type of business, really. A lot of offices, call centres, the construction industry, manufacturers. And you mainly cater the Craven area, do you? We do, but we are finding that we are going further afield now, so we we can actually go nationwide. So we're going to have a bit of a a virtual walk around then. We're going to be coming to a a workplace which could sound very similar to, to your workplace, if you're listening. What room shall we head into first? Uh, Liz, I'll let you decide which room we're going to go to first. I think we should go into the kitchen first. Okay, off we go to the kitchen. What are some of the most common things that you might find that would be an issue in the world of health and safety? Certainly electrical equipment. It's very common for people to overload extension leads in the kitchen because you have a lot of high-powered energy sapping equipment like kettles and microwaves and they can be plugged into extension leads and overload the extension leads, which can cause them to overheat and could cause them to make them cause a fire. Pat testing is recommended. Uh, Pat testing is portable appliance testing. Do you do pat testing or do you get somebody else to come in to do that? No, we don't offer pat testing, but we have somebody that we recommend and that we use ourselves. Anything else in the kitchen? I think in the kitchen as well, there may be a cupboard full of cleaning chemicals, that type of thing which obviously should be locked away. A lot of the times as well, people don't have a cost assessment that's been done. It's like a risk assessment, basically, on the product, what to do in the event of emergency, so if anybody splashes anything in their eye, for example. Another issue might be, um, obviously, if you're using your cleaning products and you've mopped the kitchen floor, for example, then just bobbing a a wet floor sign up just to warn people, then the next person that walks in doesn't doesn't slip and fall okay right are we are we done in the kitchen then should we should we head off we'll come back later for to grab our lunch from the fridge but we we shall leave the kitchen head out into a space that i guess most places would have and it's the office desks computers we have photocopiers we have printers a whole lot what are some of the most common issues that you would find in an office space Access can be an issue sometimes, so like literally getting around the office. So then you can cram desks in, and it can be hard to to get around. You should ideally leave at least a meter between desks and access ways so people can get around. And obviously, keeping uh, things like fire escapes clear would be very, very important. I think uh, another issue is making sure that your workstation's set up correctly. So you see a lot of places where the screen's in the wrong position, and obviously making sure that people are taking regular breaks as well um, away from the screen. Whenever people are taking a break, one of the places where they may want to go is the toilet. So as unglamorous as this is, Liz and Ian, Craven Safety Services, shall we go into the toilet together? If we must. Yes, let's. So these are actually the employer's sanitary conveniences. Very official title there. I like that. So what's going on in the toilet then? You don't have to describe everything to to us in here. Uh, There are some parts that don't need discussing, but what should you be looking out for? I don't think there's too much going on in the toilet that we need to be too concerned with. Again, probably is just your um, your slip signs if you've mopped the floor so if they've been cleaned and also making sure that there isn't any cleaning products just behind the loo that aren't locked away or had an assessment done on them really. I think it's also important depending on the size of your of your office and how many people you have in it that you have enough. One toilet for 500 people is not quite going to cut it is it? No. No, Definitely not. 
Right, let's leave the toilet then. Um, and how about we head outside? There are laws on smoking. Some sites have a policy of not smoking at all on, on site, including the outside areas. Really, an employer should be looking to provide a, a smoking area, if possible, in winter, making sure that the paths and roadways are gritted. Obviously, at night time, you want to make sure you've got some lighting, some exterior lighting, so that people can find their way to their cars or at least find their way off-site. We've had our walk round our virtual office. Thank you very much for keeping me company. Just remind us why this is important, because if you are running a company, you're running a business, you feel you've got a million things to do on your list, why health and safety? Why should that be important? And and why should they come to Craven Safety Services to have you look round their not virtual workplace? Well, health, health and safety is obviously a legal requirement. You can get yourself into a lot of trouble. There's high fines and even imprisonment in some cases. And obviously keeping everybody safe at work is a massive thing to do. It's good for staff morale that everybody can see that you actually seem to be doing something. Here at Craven Safety Service, we try and do a very simple structured approach to your health and safety. So we would come in, assess everything and tell you what you need to do, not try and oversell you anything or get you to do something that's not necessary. We just focus on what you need to do and then the most simple way to actually get that done for you. And am I right in thinking you also offer some training as well? So people who have to lift heavy things or, you know, need to know first aid, you can you can sort all that out as well. Yeah, we offer a, a variety of courses, uh, things like manual handling, fire safety awareness, a little bit of training is required to make sure that everybody knows what they're doing and working safely. So what should happen first then? If there's somebody out there thinking, I don't know if I'm on top of mind, to be honest, um, and they want to get in touch with Craven Safety Services, what should they do and where can they go? They can visit our website, which is cravensafetyservices.co.uk, or you can just pick up the phone, give us a call. All our contact details are on the website. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, all the social media. We do actually offer um, a free mini audit. So if anybody just wants us to come along, no obligation, we'll come and sit down for half an hour to an hour with you, have a look at everything that you've got in place and give you some recommendations for the way forward. Fantastic. Liz and Ian, thank you very much.